Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Destiny, here. Today I'm going to be reviewing and showing you an application tutorial for this bob from wigencounters.com. The hair is Indian Remy and it's off black, basically a color 1B. It's 12 inches and has 130% density around the hairline and the rest of the wig is 150. I like that because it means that you don't have to do as much work plucking the frontal hairs because it's going to fade in nicely and not be too dense or too thick in the front of the wig. There is some baby hair and then the knots are also bleached in the front but not all over the whole wig because bleaching your knots can cause shedding so they didn't do the whole wig but first of all let me just say that I absolutely love the length of this wig. I remember when long hair is everything, everything, and then super short hair. I really like the length of this. It's kind of right in between, long enough to rock a cute bob, but not too short where I can't put it in a ponytail. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this review. Here you can see how it looks on my head, and I really, really love how it looks off the bat. I think I did a tiny bit of customization just to kind of get it to wiggle a little bit more to be more similar to my hairline because my hairline has a lot of dips and grooves and I really really like how natural it looks you know it is a little bit more of a sleek bob it is a little bit more quote unquote shiny but it's not outrageous and I actually think it's pretty you know so here I'm just showing you a little bit more of the way it looks on the mannequin and I like to put a white t-shirt on top of my mannequin or just use a white mannequin head my mannequin head is black and this just really enables me to see exactly what's going on the density and everything like that just giving it a comb through and checking it out and trying to make it look as natural as possible here's a little clip of exactly what this wig is going to look like when i'm finished so let's go ahead and jump in Okay, so first of all, I'm calling this the Anthony Cuts method. I don't know who started this. He's the first person I ever seen doing it like this. He slays it. So in my opinion, this is the Anthony Cuts method. I have on a dyed wig cap and I'm using cling to adhere it to my head. I'm gonna let that first layer dry for about 40 seconds. And if you're gonna use a hair dryer, make sure to use it on the cool setting so you can actually dry the glue the warm setting will pretty much heat it up and then I apply two more coats with the same method applying it thinning it out letting it dry using my blow dryer and then on the final step you let it dry for seven minutes and then you move forward I absolutely love this method because generally I'll bleach the knots on the lace if it's not bleached to my liking honestly it's not my favorite thing to do um, I'll bleach the knots and then you think okay now I have to dye the lace but lately I've just been dyeing the wig cap now there is a method with applying makeup on there um, to the lace and or wig cap but I prefer to have the wig cap already dark and then put makeup on the lace a little bit if I need to so now that I've done pretty much all the steps that need to be done, I've only done, I think, three coats. Now that I've done the three coats that need to be done, it is time to put it on. Now when it comes to putting your wig on your head and making sure that it matches up with the glue, I learned a new method and that's basically by putting the wig down on your head, tracing the outer edge of the wig, applying the glue in the shape of the wig and then when you go and you lay it down it will pretty much all lay down and match up but I didn't do that I didn't really know that technique at this time so here you can see that the glue is pretty much clear and I'm going to stretch the wig over and apply it now this is the most nerve-wracking part but it's not too nerve-wracking because honestly as long as you don't get hair in the glue or get it on your fingers or anything like that you have a little bit of wiggle room to maneuver it around. I got a pretty good uh, location the way I got it laid the first time. So now I'm just going in and slightly fixing. I did have a little bit of my lace kind of like kissed together. So I had to kind of go in and rearrange that. But once you get your lace laid, you can go in and perfect it. I don't really think you have to aim for a perfect lay down the first time especially if you're not very familiar with this method or you're not a pro, I'm not a pro. 
um, yeah, you can, you can kind of have a little bit of a wiggle room and you can kind of maneuver it the way you need to. Right now what I'm doing is just going in with the end of the comb and a little bit of the teeth of the comb and I'm pressing it down. When you press the glue, it can get a little white, but I've learned that once you finish everything and you go in and you tie the wig down, that it's not going to be white. It'll pretty much clear up. I absolutely love the lace on this wig. It really, really disappeared into my scalp. I really love that it's it's kind of like a it's like a thinner lace than a lot of the laces that I've worked with. I don't mind, you know, a little bit of like a thicker lace because a lot of times they take um, color better depending on if you color your lace, but this one was really good. So I am using cling to adhere my wig and I'm just going up underneath a little bit and pressing it down. Now I wouldn't recommend you aim for this or try this if you haven't worked with cling before because it can be really frustrating um, going in and adding bits of glue um, after you've already laid your lace. But sometimes, you know, there are pieces and different things that stick out. So you have to go in and re-secure your lace down. And that's pretty much what I'm doing. And being very careful not to get hair in the lace or get the glue everywhere or anything like that. Because it will drive you crazy and you will end up like a lot of reviews that I've seen on YouTube about cling. And it don't work. And it ruined my edges and this and that. And let me say that I've used cling to adhere four units and I have not want, I have not lost one strand of hair due to cling. It's a very rubbery, bouncy kind of glue and it comes out with oil-based products. Like I really don't see where the disconnect comes in with people and using cling. I actually think it's really, really bomb, but I do want to switch over to Bold Hold because it is a black owned company and many of the hair influencers that I trust use Bold Hold. So shout out to Bold Hold Tape, shout out to Cynthia Lumsey, shout out to Anthony Cuts, and shout out to, I believe his name is Lonzo Arnold. Um, these are a few of the people on Instagram that I support and, and rock with their hair game. But yeah, once you get it laid, once you get your glue perfected, just go in with some cool air and get it laid. I tie my hair down to kind of get the glue to go white. And then once it's laid, I go in on the edges with a little bit of makeup. Just blending and, and pressing it down and everything like that. And I'm not using a lot. I'm using a little bit. I don't really want the lace to be wet with makeup. I just want the makeup to kind of just kiss the lace and color it because over time it will begin to look more natural and the glue usually gets even more clear once it's completely 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 dry as you can see I'm using Lancome and I'm using a color that's one stop darker than what I usually use it's not even darker than my skin it's just one stop darker than what I use so that's probably 540 warm but yeah, I just wanted to show you exactly how to apply this beautiful wig. I absolutely love this wig from Wig Encounters. I believe it's about 220 something dollars. It's absolutely perfect. It's not too heavy, it's not too light, it's not too long or too short. You can wear it in many different styles. I wore this to Columbia and I absolutely loved it. It looked so cute, it looked so natural. It lasts my whole entire trip. And it's just a really, really good texture hair. And it's not too heavy. And I think that's really important because it's extremely hot still in California. And I like to wear hats on my head, whether or not I have a wig. And this is one of the few wigs that I have that actually fits under a hat, go figure. If you guys are interested in checking out this wig, I'll have more information in the bottom bar. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below and I will talk to you guys later. All right, thanks, bye. Turn the shit around, start a dumb beyond. It's all you need to do.